Welcome back to the DMC Complete Story Series. I don't care what anyone says, I loved this game myself, and I'm so sad that we aren't gonna get a DMC 2. But we are getting Devil May Cry 5, so I guess I'll take that instead. This story picks up right where the last one left off, with Dante waking up in his trailer being hunted by demons for escaping the demon prison. His trailer spins into the air, with Dante managing to get his clothing on and see his pizza hit the floor. But he quickly hits the streets and begins to cut the demons up left and right. As he's cutting through these demons in the demon dimension of Limbo, the astral projection of a girl named Kat finds him, and she tells him that she can help him. He's a bit shocked that she can see him, but he doesn't turn down the helping hand, and she tells him that she'll find him a way out of Limbo and get back to the real world. After destroying the entire carnival and causing a lot of destruction, Dante eventually kills off the demon boss at the end of his first journey, and he gets back into the real world. You see, this city is known as Limbo City, and it exists in two locations, one where the humans live, and the astral plane known as Limbo where the demons live. Cat can see and talk to people in Limbo, while Dante can actually enter and leave it if he has an entry and exit point. Cat invites Dante to join her back at their headquarters, because her boss would love to meet him. You see, Cat works for the Order, a vigilante group whose sole purpose is to expose the demon world that lies underneath the real world. It's run by Virgil, who as it turns out is Dante's brother, and they are the children of Sparta and Ava, whom are a demon and an angel. Because Virgil and Dante are Nephilim, they are capable of killing the demon king Mundus, and Mundus also happens to be the man who tore their family apart initially by killing their mother Ava and condemning their father to eternal banishment. He also put Dante into that demon prison once he found out that Dante was the son of Sparta. After finding out all of his history and what's going on, Dante agrees to help the Order take down Mundus and end this. So he and Cat head off to each one of Mundus' operations, getting rid of a spiked energy drink that has a monstrous demon pumping into it, and they go to the Raptor News Tower and defeat the news anchor who's working for Mundus spreading all of these false stories. But just as they're enjoying their win, they discover that the authorities have discovered the location of the Order and are currently attacking it. So Dante and Cat return to protect their organization, and while Dante and Virgil do escape, Cat can't slip into limbo, and she gets brutally beat by the police officers as they take over the building. Furious over losing Cat, Dante goes after Mundus' concubine, and he takes her hostage since she's carrying Mundus' unborn child. Dante and Virgil agree to meet Mundus and complete the exchange, but in a moment that proves just how much Virgil doesn't care about others, he kills Lilith the concubine and the unborn child. A firefight breaks out with everyone shooting at each other, and Dante, Virgil, and Cat all get away, and they bring Cat somewhere where she can recover. And as she's healing, she tells them where Mundus' stronghold is, and Dante and Virgil begin their assault against Mundus directly. Inside his base, Dante and Virgil find Mundus drawing immense power from a hell gate that he opened in his office, and he tries to kill Dante, but Virgil manages to close the hell gate and stab Mundus in the back. But Mundus isn't done yet, and he changes into his new form, forcing the brothers to battle it out with him one more time. Of course they win, otherwise we wouldn't have a good ending. And the shield that he was using to keep the demons hidden from the real world vanishes, leaving all of the demons exposed to the real world. This fuses Limbo and the real world into one, creating mass confusion and chaos around the entire world. But this is when we learn Virgil's true intentions. With the worlds merged and Mundus gone, Virgil intends to rule over humanity. He tells Dante that they deserve to be ruled over. Just look at how they treat their own lives. If he gets to rule them, he will treat them as proper subjects in his kingdom. Dante, of course, won't stand for this, and the two brothers end up fighting against each other. Dante ends up winning, but he doesn't kill Virgil, because Cat begs him not to. Virgil tells them that he's foolish for not killing him off, and that he's chosen the wrong side. He's not human. But Dante lets him walk away, and Virgil teleports himself out of sight. Dante is left to wonder just who he is, but Cat comforts him by telling him, He's Dante, nothing more, nothing less. Meanwhile, Virgil finds himself teleported to an unknown dimension with a voice telling him to follow the light and take his place. He goes through the entire Hell dimension, finding copies of Dante and Cat over and over again, realizing that he's been betrayed and left to his own devices, and that he needs to accept the demon inside. It's a journey inside of his own psyche, but once he gets out, he finds himself in front of demons bowing before him, and Virgil realizes he is now the new demon king. Like I said, they pretty much said DMC2 isn't gonna happen, so the story ends right about there. I would love to see what's gonna happen with Virgil, but I guess we'll never find out. I'm Benny for Eligible Monster, and don't forget we have a comic book channel known as Comic Storian, where we give you all of the complete stories of all of your favorite arcs and the origins to your favorite heroes. 
You can find that in the description down below, and I will see you guys on Twitter at Eligible Monster. Have a good day.